If I had two words to describe Judy and David, I would say that the words that come to mind are humanity and warmth. Uh, and those two traits, which are evident and visibly present in both of them, I think are what have led them to their service in the community. I've been privileged to know Judy and Dave Rosenthal for nearly 20 years. They are amongst the first people we had the privilege of meeting uh, when moving to this town. And one of the things that quickly distinguished them in my eyes and certainly others was the way in which they really truly care about people, uh, about the community. It's something that they've taken to heart and made a significant part of their lives. In my accounting firm, uh, David was the managing partner for maybe 15 years or so and never took credit for things, always did things uh, with quiet leadership and humility and really set the tone where, where the firm is like a family. And that has continued in more than a decade since he was the managing partner. My parents always said that it was best to help other people and give back to what you learned and what you could give to those that were less fortunate than you. I grew up in a family that was totally focused on community. Giving back to our community was just part of our life. And, and not only financially, but, uh, but with our time. When I first moved back to Hartford, I, I received a phone call from Joe Hurwitz, who uh, called and asked me if I'd consider serving on the JFS board. And of course, being an accountant, I was asked uh, quickly to be a treasurer and <laughs> get involved in that kind of thing. And, and being involved in the board, I was given a first-hand view of, of the incredible selfless work that was, was done by so many of the, the folks at JFS, and uh, it, was, it was one of the most meaningful experiences I've had. I had volunteered for many uh, different functions within the community when I moved back here, and in January of 2009, I got a call from Lynn Preminger from Jewish Family Services, and they said that um, would I be willing to help them because of my human resource background with the economic downfall that had caused an influx at JFS of folks needing help with uh, job search. And I realized that the real way to get a job is through networking. I started to work with people who were losing their homes and absolutely frantic. And you don't really realize how difficult it is out there. I volunteer my time, but the biggest bonus I've ever gotten on any job or any volunteer position I've ever had is when I hear the words, I've landed. I am, and so and, many people in our community are so proud of the work Judy's done to, to initiate and, and pursue and, and continue this program to, uh, in such an active way, and, and the time commitment has been uh, with so much love. I think that uh, we're, we're just so proud of her.